Positively Jacks at 652, local groups are working together to provide food to low-income seniors who struggle to make ends meet. United Way Northeast Florida says when this pandemic started, there was a 400% increase in need of food from people who utilize its services. So seven months later, and people are still needing access to food daily. News for Jack's reporter, Lena Pringle, spoke with a woman who relies on this help. And Lena, this service means seniors do not need to even leave their homes. Good morning, Bruce and Melanie. The group delivers food directly to about 150 seniors living in low-income apartments. Right now, it's just a six-week pilot program, but for the senior residents receiving this food weekly, they say this opportunity could have come at a better time. It's difficult at this time for us seniors to go out. It's very difficult, but we're thankful because they come to us, mm -hmm. so that is a plus. Matilda Bridge Noni says navigating the pandemic as a senior has been challenging due to the lack of access. That has been hard because we just go to the store or go to the pharmacy where we have to go and be back home. Bridge Noni is now enrolled in a new pilot program that delivers about 20 pounds of food every Wednesday to seniors living in low income apartments through DoorDash. This partnership between local nonprofits and the food delivery service is moving two to 3,000 pounds of food weekly to seniors who need it the most in Jacksonville. This service has allowed our residents to not worry about where the next meal is going to come from. It has allowed them to stay home and be safe. Before the pandemic hit, about 40% of our households here in Duval County were already struggling to make uh, ends meet. And they were basically one crisis away from slipping into poverty. Uh, COVID has only exacerbated that situation. And we're getting incredible demands from our callers at 211 for basic needs, including food. While this new service is providing necessities like food, it's also providing a little social interaction for these seniors. They're lonely. They, this, this is like people are coming to my door, bringing me groceries. We can come out in a safe and social distance manner and pick up a bag of groceries. I mean, it just made them feel like the community needs them. So we thankful whatever they can do for us. We appreciate that. This pilot program will provide more than 1,000 deliveries to seniors over the six weeks, totaling more than 21,500 pounds of food. You can find out more information on food insecurity and what resources are available if you need food or other essential services once this story is posted on newsforjacks.com. Live in the newsroom, Lena Pringle, Channel 4, The Local Station. All right.